who robbed an Illinois convenience store while covering his face with a clear plastic bag. They're, they're not real. That's not a real person. That is, that is idiocy at its finest. The stupidest criminals of all time. In 2009, Matthew McNally and Joey Miller robbed a home in Iowa using masks. There is no way they thought these were going to work. Drawn onto their faces with permanent black marker. No, oh my Whilst on God. the run, the two discovered that permanent black marker doesn't rub off easily, leading to their simple arrest and embarrassingly stupid mug shots. No. However, these wow. two still look like geniuses in comparison to some of the other. Ain't no way they look like geniuses. About, as we discussed, that gotta the be a stretch. Criminals of all time. That gotta be Take a for stretch. Example, MacArthur Wheeler, who robbed two banks in broad daylight, as he thought that pouring lemon juice on his face would make. Him oh yeah, make him invisible. Camera. Cause he, cause he found out like uh, writing down on like paper, if you have like lemon juice or whatever, it can make him for invisible ink. He saw on like some TV show or some. I remember this. Wheeler remember refused this. to believe that he was visible, stating to officers, "But I wore the juice, believing that as long as he didn't come near a heat source, he should have been completely invisible." Police concluded the Wheeler was not crazy or on drugs, just incredibly <laughs> mistaken. With the lemon juice that mistake stupid, bro. costing Wheeler a 24.5 year prison sentence. 24 years just for trying to rob or robbing two banks is ridiculous. He had to do something else. There's no way y'all just trying to y'all giving him 24 just trying to get his bread from banks. People, okay, I can understand, but they're banks. However, if we're on the topic of terrible disguises, then we can't go past Dennis Hawkins, whose disguise as an old lady wasn't much better. His sweater accompanied fake boobs, a full beard, and fittingly clown pants with this insanely recognizable outfit, Ain't no helping way, police to catch Hawkins only an hour after the robbery. The police chief for the area stated, he would get my nomination for dumbest criminal, I think. You still have his black facial hair with a blondish wig. Definitely different. Different is also a good way to he describe still had his stuff on. Guy's disguise, who robbed an Illinois convenience store while covering his face with a clear plastic bag. They're they're not real. That's not a real person. That is that is that is idiocy at its finest. I think my brain just committed suicide. He was only able to obtain sixty dollars from the robbery. However, due to his extensive criminal history, Wh he was sentenced to fifteen felonies? years in prison for the stunt, meaning that he had to spend one year in prison for every four dollars stolen from the store. Talk about a bad return. Equally bad was Paul Sing. Fifteen years for $60. My nigga just want to buy Black Ops 2 and now he has 15 years. Speaking of which, Black Ops 2 should not still be $60. What, 20 years later? Like, come on now. Tempted to rob a bank in Florida by using his fingers curled up into a gun shape. The quote-unquote weapon was so non-threatening that the bank teller gave him only $120, after which he'd flee on foot before being caught by police only 10 minutes later. Then there was James Blankenship, who thought that robbery was legal as long as you did it at a certain time of day. What? Back in 2013, Blankenship broke into his own mother's home, after which the police were called, who would take to their Facebook Yo, page Ma? that day to explain what had happened. He fled the scene upon seeing his Yo, mother. Ma? The male was located under the house, hiding in a crawl space. When advised of his charges, he made the statement, I thought you could only be charged with burglary if you break in during the night time. Blankenship was given 180 days in jail and ordered to pay a $100 fine, yet this wasn't the only time when a person was dumb enough to think that a law didn't apply to them. Because when Reuben Pavan was caught stealing from a charity thrift shop in New Hampshire, he'd state that he stealing thought everything from a charity was free is because of the name of the business, Finders Keepers. <laughs> nah, nah, he is spitting. Finders Keepers. That does sound like I can just come in and just take shit. So I'm not mad at it. They, they kind of set themselves up for that one. Finders Keepers. So I took that DVD player, took it home, Pavan told the local TV station. A couple of weeks later, the stuff is still there on the porch. So I'm thinking of myself finders keepers they probably just put stuff out there for people to take the business <laughs> responded via facebook stating this man who was caught on video is saying it is all a misunderstanding he thought everything at our store was free is that really the best defense he could come up with after which it's finders keepers pavin reportedly turned in the stolen goods to police holding that he's not a bad person or a bad dad and is rather just unbelievably stupid but was he as that's fair i don't think with a name like finders keepers and you're just leaving things outside the place bro i think a fine should be straight mosley who in 2013 attempted to rob a store named discount gun sales by using a baseball bat when mosley allegedly barged into discount gun sales and smashed you think this is gta even in gta if you come in there with the
the baseball bat. He just brings out a, 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 a something crazy and blicks your ass. Baseball bat. The store manager simply pulled out his own personal firearm and pointed it straight at the would-be robber, holding Mosley in the store until he was arrested and charged with first-degree robbery. A similar story first then degree. came out of Texas in July 2022 okay. when a gun store was robbed at knife point, although this tale instead ended in a body bag as the robber was fatally shot by the store owner as he tried to exit with his loot. But what happens uh, when you uh, accidentally call 911 whilst committing a crime? Pocketing the police How? is probably a fairly common occurrence. However, for Carson Reinhardt and Nathan Tekla Merriam, it happened at the most unfortunate moment, specifically while they were breaking into a car. The alert dispatcher soon realized that the call was an accidental one, and moreover that the guys on the other end might be up to no good. For the next 35 minutes, 35 the dispatcher stayed on minutes? the line, listening and gathering information as Tekla Merriam and Reinhardt did minutes? the following discovered a car that they thought they could burglar up. Can't even not look at my phone for 35 minutes. Every, 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 every other 10 minutes, I'd be on my bit like, we're on through TikTok. Guys discussed how to break into the car, allegedly broke into the car, exclaimed in delight over finding narcotics in the car, became confused as to how and why a police car was following okay. them, and reacted in disbelief when the arresting officer revealed that they'd been on the line to 911 the entire time. Scott they would have probably got away with it if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Although under much more severe circumstances. Whilst on trial for murder in 2015, Scott was successfully sentenced to life in prison as two years prior he'd pocket dialed the police while admitting to a friend that he was the one who committed the crime. He had no idea he called 911, a sheriff's office spokeswoman told the Miami Herald. He basically told on himself, as did Albert Bailey, although in a much stupider way. Bailey had planned on robbing a bank in Fairfield, Connecticut, although okay. rather than exercising the element of surprise, he'd call the bank Oh yeah, he the called him beforehand? Stating, I want $100,000 yeah. in large bills and no die packs. I'll be sending he, he called them the beforehand and let, it, to let the them know. We are monitoring the police scanner. Prior to making this phone call, Bailey had already served seven years in prison for a previous bank robbery. However, this new seven plan was years? equally ineffective as after arriving at the bank to collect his cash, Bailey was locked inside, arrested, and sentenced to another nine years in prison. Damn. Although, if he wanted to avoid this time behind bars, he could have had a chat with Tito and Amanda Watts, who got arrested in Florida for selling tickets to enter heaven at a price of $100. Tito Watts said- <laughs> No, 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 okay. You cannot arrest people for doing that. Like, if they're dumb enough to buy it, let them buy it. In his police statement, I don't care what the police say. The tickets are solid gold. And it was Jesus who gave them to me behind the KFC and said to sell them- this is worse than I thought. I could get me some money to go to outer space. You should arrest Jesus because he's the one who gave me the golden tickets and said to sell them. I'm willing to wear a wire and set Jesus up. The couple had apparently earned- I knew Jesus liked chicken. I knew it. Of course he's behind the KFC. We all knew Jesus liked chicken. Jesus just like us. Over $10,000 from the stunt, meaning that they were able to find people even dumber than them, one of which might have been rude. Wait, so they didn't even do nothing illegal. They had a hustle and y'all took it from them? They were just trying to spread the word of God. Y'all y'all hating, bro. Zarate. While attempting to rob a muffler shop in 2008, Zarate was told that the shop couldn't access the money safe without their manager, who didn't begin his shift until later that afternoon. Instead of bailing on the robbery, Zarate instead gave them his phone number, asking them to give him a ring the next time the manager was in. They did so later that afternoon, although after returning to the store, Zarate received no money and was instead met by police and charged with aggravated robbery. Then there was the man who gave the people he was robbing something even stupider. Oh, the unnamed Lord. robber walked into a London bank carrying a gun and a bag, which he'd take to the front desk before demanding £700,000 in cash. That dude said, no, he said, put the money in the bag. Like, this is not SpongeBob, bro. Give me money, you fucking nigga. The crook handed over his gun to the cashier instead of the bag. Investigating authorities stated, the guess is that he is very inexperienced and panicked when he approached the cashier, handing over his gun instead of a bag by mistake. But it was Trevor Jones who left an even more damning piece of evidence at his crime scene. After breaking into a house in Atlanta, Jones took a moment to check his Facebook on the owner's computer before leaving without logging out. Less than Why? three years later, a similar story entered news headlines, Why? reading a 26-year-old Minnesota man has been tracked down by police Why? after leaving his Facebook profile logged in at Why a house he that? allegedly robbed, although this story has a much funnier ending. The homeowner decided to message the robber via his Facebook, stating, you left a few things at my house last night, how can I get them back to you? Which was followed by the robber agreeing to
to come back to the home so he could collect the stuff he forgot. However, the robber didn't get any of his items back and was instead arrested while still wearing a watch that he'd stolen from the night before. While both of these idiots used social media poorly, at least they didn't brag about the robbery in a YouTube video, as is what happened in the bizarre <laughs> case of Hannah Sub. <laughs> Oh lord, bro. Oh lord. In 2012, at the age of 19, Sabata stole $6,000 from a bank in Nebraska, and while almost anybody else With would no have mask kept on. quiet, Hannah instead took to her YouTube channel Jelly Beanie to upload a video titled Chick Bank Robber, in which she'd straight up admit to having just committed a robbery. She'd then discuss her entire methodology for the crime, while showing the money and the amount that had been stolen, before concluding the video by just She's stupid. She labeled her car? Oh my god. Describing the vehicle she had used and that it had its license plates removed. This information eventually resulted in Hannah Sabata's she arrest and sentencing of 10 to 20 years prison, Damn. done so in a public courtroom filled to maximum capacity with people who had seen the video. Just two years prior to this, 21-year-old Frank Singleton was being released from Palm Beach County Jail, having just served time for a trespassing charge. The only issue was he didn't have a car to leave the jail, so he decided to steal one from the visitor's parking lot, yet the car he decided to steal was a manual and he could only drive auto. Singleton sat in the car looking like an idiot before being arrested and sentenced to a further six years in prison, telling deputies that he tried to take the car because he didn't feel like walking to his home about six miles away. And while you may be sad- Six miles is a long ass walk. I mean, y'all did just release him. I mean, y'all like, didn't provide nothing for him. Y'all said, hey, you're free to go. I mean, I, six miles is a long ass <laughs> that these criminals can't get any dumber, it's time to introduce 53-year-old Michael Anthony Fuller. While it's common knowledge that the US banknote doesn't go any higher than $100, Fuller had the genius idea to create a counterfeit $1 million note before trying to use it at his local Walmart. There's he loaded this no car with a way, vacuum bro. cleaner, a microwave, and various other items totaling $472 no before way, handing bro. a million dollar note to the cashier, expecting $999,528 in change. Change. Needless to say, Walmart wasn't able to facilitate this, and instead store staff called police. Fuller was later charged with attempting to obtain property by false pretense and uttering a forged instrument. I'm actually very surprised by the stupidity, because the woman literally said she robbed the bank, labeled her name, and then flexed the cash. I I, I don't think you can get any dumber. Like, I, I don't think you're gonna go like, 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 